Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, I'm Samantha from Starkey Farmstead. Today's video is gonna cover on how can you make money with your rabbits? A lot of people go into the rabbit business, sink a ton of money into these cages, these watering systems, <clears throat> even these, your feeders. This is hundreds of dollars. Um, setting them up correctly, trying to get them to survive these hot summers, cold winters, the whole nine yards. If they're not making money for you, what's the purpose of them? A lot of people say, well, I have them for meat for my family. That's great. Again, but if you're homesteading or farmsteading, you're always looking for a way to increase your income, right? Like that's a big deal to us. We wanna be sustainable, but we still have electric bills, water bills, unless you're off grid, that's a different topic. All right, so what you're gonna see in the video that follows this little clip right here, this little introduction clip, what you're gonna see is us getting our rabbits ready to go to the processor this morning. Here's some things. Number one, most processors will not take your rabbits unless they're white. Um, that is either gonna be your New Zealand white or your California mixes. A lot of them will take Californians. Yeah, there's other breeds, but these are the ones that I am familiar with. New Zealand whites, Californians, and their mixes. This is a mix between a California and a New Zealand. See the tip of the nose right here? A little gray on the ears. Um, this is also a mix. You can see the gray right here on her ears. Californian. Down here again, we have a big old New Zealand. Her babies too, they're at that age where they get out of their nesting boxes. That's why you put up this right here, if you can see it. It's tiny. It's called a baby bumper guard. So. <clears throat> Let's get back on topic. Go into the processor. There are ways to pick your rabbits up so that you don't bruise the meat along the back, the back strap. <clears throat> a lot of processors are very picky about that. Uh, here in Louisiana, we go to Sweet Caroline's. I'll put a link in here for that for you. Mr. Gerald and his wife are amazing. They'll help you get started, help you any way that you can. That is one way to make money with your rabbit. Rabbit. Second, is to butcher them yourselves for meat for your family, reducing your cost of food. Number three, in some states, you need to look up food policy laws. You can actually sell meat rabbits that you process on your property. In some states, you cannot without breaking laws. So guys, if you wanna know what your laws for your state say about you processing your own meat rabbits and what is required for that, you need to call the USDA. They'll hook you up and put you in with like the livestock commissioners and all of that. And they'll help you walk through that. If you have an ag center like LSU, Southern, there are people there that can walk you through food policy laws. <clears throat> That's for Louisiana. Your state, you're gonna have to look it up for yourself. The fourth way you can make money with your rabbits is their manure. Sell their manure. We showed you in another video how we just collect it in buckets and then we put it in six meal bags. I sell that for 20 to 25 pound bags for $15 a piece. The reason why mine is that price is because I don't use antibiotics or warmers, wormers and they're more naturally fed. I give them things like comfrey, which means my manure is really good, really good. The next way, collect their urine. Collecting their urine is a viable source of income once you educate people on the uses of rabbit urine. So enjoy the rest of this clip. I hope that it helps a little bit, make your rabbits more profitable for you. We started with one buck, two does, so that's three rabbits, and we began to breed them. We brought in some other females and another buck from a different bloodline, and we began to breed out. We'll get into a video later in our series as we continue making them to help you learn how to set up a board and a breeding schedule so that you know when to put your nest boxes in, when to take them out, when to take the, the kits off their mothers, we leave our babies with their moms until they're almost six weeks old. And a lot of people who breed for money, like serious breeding, and they're always going to the processor, they're not, four weeks, those babies are off their moms. We believe the longer they're breastfed, the healthier they are. So you guys enjoy the rest of this video, and we hope that it helps you become profitable. Form, your homestead, your farmstead, or your hobby form. <laughs> All right, Steven, so what are you doing today? We going to the meat market, basically. To the processor. Processor. With all these little bunnies. All these bunnies here. 
and the proper way to hold a bunt to pick up a bunny is not like this because they will cut you up put him back down and it's not behind the ears by the skin come over here and see it's not back here because if you grab back here you bruise the meat right the, all the meat in the back you the back strap part of the rabbit you'll bruise all that so it sounds like it's mean and it sounds like it may hurt but you take them two ears you pick them up you can support underneath yeah but usually you're doing it all by yourself so when you're picking it up by yourself then you're trying to support you grab it by the back by the ears and grab them like that yeah but you're gonna get cut up so easiest way to do it is grab them by the ears hurry and get them out of your way yeah because if not they'll cut you yeah they will so i know that when they first told us that from the meat processor my husband looked at me and my face was like no no i'm not picking up a rabbit by its ears getting cut up <laughs> they look so sweet it's the mighty python bunny any of you guys ever seen mighty python they'll understand what's daddy doing with all you baby rabbits what's he doing with all you baby rabbits let him give him a kiss daddy you know we gotta give him a kiss He's like, gonna get kissed, Daddy. I just love that baby rabbit. Good job, Hammer. Now, I know. You, you got them all here, huh? Took care of them? You took care of them. See, I was... Oh, look at those ears. Okay, wait, slow down. Show everybody what happens when they get a little bigger and they're in pins together. And this is why you gotta wash those back legs, guys. They're gonna find out who's the baddest. Yeah, see that? They go to eating each other. Oh, yeah. They fight. They fight. If you have never had the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or you would just like to renew that vow to Him today, please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Wash me clean. Renew me, Lord. Restore me and help me be the best person that I can be. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Go out there in your gardens, your farms, your everyday jobs, whatever it is that you're doing. Be blessed and prosper.